expecting a competitive series for the Lakers. But in order for that to happen, what do they need from Anthony Davis and LeBron James? Well, I, think he's, I think Anthony Davis has to answer the call. It's more so Anthony Davis and LeBron James. LeBron's okay. going to be LeBron. LeBron's going to show up. LeBron's going to answer the call because that's what he does. That's what greatness demands. In the case of Anthony Davis, it's not that he doesn't give it to you. It's that he doesn't give it to you consistently, particularly against the Denver Nuggets. But that was last year. This year is a different Anthony Davis. He played 76 games this year. Now, against Denver in the three meetings that they lost, he only averaged 22 points, 47% shooting, 9.3 rebounds. His numbers are obviously better against most of the opposition. Why? Because the Lakers take advantage of smaller teams, smaller front lines with LeBron, with Hachimura, and Anthony Davis. That ain't the issue with Denver. Denver's got some size in their front line with Gordon and obviously Jokic, and to a lesser degree, Michael Porter, who's relatively thin compared to those guys, but is still 6'10". Still in all, in the end, you're Anthony Davis. You dropped 40 in game one last year. You can do it again, and you can make Make sure that if I can't figure out a way to stop Nikola Jokic, let me make sure he can't figure out a way to stop me. Mm. If the if he gets that and D'Angelo Russell shows up and shows a <laughs> pulse, which I believe he will as well, I think this could be a far more thrilling series than people are anticipating. I'm anticipating a real series, a long one, a tough one, competitive one. And if we're going back to the original question about LeBron and AD, they've got to play to their Hall of Fame reputations. But not only that, they got to inspire. And we're talking about players like D'Angelo Russell and the rest of that cast. LeBron and AD aren't going to get this done as a tag team. There's no chance. There's no, there's no duo right now that's going to beat the Denver Nuggets as they go about defending their championship. They're going to have to get inspired play from an entire roster of people. And it, I'm talking about additional two, three guys a night. Okay. But for starters, LeBron and AD have to play to their Hall of Fame selves. Not just have terrific games, a couple of games. And, we, and, and Stephen A's right, I agree. We think we know we're going to get that from LeBron. we got to get it from AD consistently across the series. It's asking a lot. We could dive into the individual matchups. We could ask AD and LeBron to inspire they should have all the inspiration they need in that locker room. This series should be personal. Remind me of remind me if I'm wrong right here, but didn't the Denver Nuggets say that they're the Lakers' daddy? Yes. Michael How, Malone did. Like, that's disrespectful to the utmost. And as a former player, right, you're going into the postseason, yeah, you have the X's and O's, you're going to watch film, you're going to try to figure out what kind of schemes you're going to work. But in this series, this comes down to pride. This comes down to pride. Is Anthony Davis going to rise to the occasion? We understand that no one in the world could stop Jokic, but we should be having the same energy with Anthony Davis and saying that no one on the Denver Nuggets could stop Anthony Davis. And so when I'm looking at this series and I think about my times when I played the game, I remember in 2008, the start of the season, I remember Rasheed Wallace when he was on the Pistons. He said, you know, hey, yeah, they got the big three. They don't have a center. They don't have a point guard. I kept that in my mind. So when we did face the Detroit Pistons, whether it was in the regular season or right. the postseason, right. I made sure I stood on business. They have to take this matchup personally. Well, I'm, like, I'm glad you said they because I'm going to revisit D'Angelo Russell for a second here. Um, when he scored 17 points or more in the postseason last year for the Los Angeles Lakers, they were undefeated at 7-0. Do you know that man didn't score more than 10 points in the game in the Western Conference Finals against the Denver Nuggets? Do you know that he had two points in the fourth quarters of those games? Mm. That he was a virtual no-show, okay? He's lucky he got a contract and he's still wearing a like, uniform after how horrific he was in that postseason. But he also pointed out how public humiliation has led to him elevating his level of play this season. Props to him. You said that. You backed it up in the second half of the regular season, but now we're here. Right. We're here in the postseason against the team who humiliated y'all collectively, but especially D'Angelo Russell. And when D'Angelo Russell is playing effectively, because that's who Anthony Davis likes to kick the ball out to, right. if he's making shots, mm -hmm. that is going to go a long way towards helping the Lakers because you know who makes shots against the Lakers? Jamal Murray. Right. Jamal Murray, you got to answer that. And without Jared Vanderbilt, that. who is going to be guarding Jamal Murray, at least to start this series? Nobody. We're Nobody have worth knowing. Much more on this game coming up here on NBA Count. <laughs> Jimmy